test mic. What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a doc system type. Alright? So, let's start it. So, what we are going to do is, I'm going to create a new project here. Of course, I'll be using the mechanical template. So, let's use that one and then I'll select here OK. Alright? Now, every time you create your doc, okay, so you need to put it on the proper system, right? So when you go to the uh, systems, and then you select here the doc, so when you click that one, if you check out the properties here, you will see here the system type, right? So for the system type, if you click that, you can see you have three here. So you have exhaust, which is this one. So let, let me show it to you. So you have the exhaust. All right, and then I'm going to escape once, and then you also have the return air. Escape once, and then you have here the supply air, right? So basically, by default, you have three uh, system type for your duct. So let's say, for example, your company has its own standard, or every country has its own standard when it comes to uh coloring of their ductwork okay so that is what we are going to do so i'm going to show you how to create a duct system type all right so to start with so what you need to do is you need to go to the project browser and then look for the families so if you're going to expand the families here you can see the doc systems right so if you click that and then you expand that one, you can see here the three types of the duct system. So you have the exhaust, air, and uh, exhaust, air, return, and supply. Okay, so that's it. So you just need to go here, and then what you need to do is you can um, right click one type, and then you just need to duplicate that. That's all. All right, so let's say, for example, I'm going to duplicate this, and then I'm going to call this, uh, let's say this is for my fresh fresh air enter and then after that to specify the color for the fresh air so you just need to right click that and then you need to go to the type properties all right so from the type properties here you can apply the material if you want you can apply any identity data here you can also apply edit here okay so you just click edit and then after that you just need to specify here the color so let's say for example for the color i want that to be what color so let's say i'll just randomly select so i'll just select this one and then i'll select here okay and then that's it and then you can also specify here the pattern so you can click the drop down arrow so let's say i'm gonna go ahead and select here um hidden you can also assign the line weight so i'm just going to select your okay and then i'll select okay and then there you go so you now have one type r one doc system created so you just need to create another doc and then you just need to specify here as you can see it's now available on your system type so you just need to click that and then you click from here one two okay all right so let me just change here the scale and then let me just pause this let's create another uh, type of duct system so what we are going to do next is uh, let's say i'm gonna go ahead and create another one so this will gonna be my um kitchen supply air all right so i'm gonna right click this rename so i'm gonna type kitchen supply air enter and then you just right click same procedure type properties assign the graphics okay um for this one i'm going to change this to uh, any color so let's say i'll select this color okay all right that's it okay there you go so i just need to select duct again Let's try this time our um, kitchen supply air, okay? 
But I think it would be better if you're going to create a supply air. So what you need to do is uh, you need to duplicate the supply air here because as you can see, the system classification here is uh, exhaust air, right? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the supply air, rename that, and then I'm going to call this uh, kitchen supply air. There you go. So let's right click that and then type properties. Let's change the color. So instead of blue, which is the default color, I'll change it to orange. Okay, then okay. And then let's try that. So dock. Let's change the type. So let's select kitchen supply air. Okay. All right. So basically, that's how you create your duct system. So same with your pipe. So if you're going to create a pipe system, so let's say I'm going to expand the pipe system here. So by default, you only have this. But of course, if you want to add more uh, pipe system here, so let's say, for example, you want to create a chilled water return pipe. So how are you going to do that? So to do that, so you need to duplicate the hydronic return. So just right click that. And then let's duplicate and let's say I'm going to rename this and then let's change the name. So I'm going to call this chilled water return pipe or just return. Okay. And then let's apply here the color. So right click, uh, type properties and then your graphic overrides. And then let's specify here the color. And then let's say that's my whatever color. Okay. 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 There you go. And then to test that, so I'm going to select the pipe here. And then let's change the type to chilled water return. There you go. Chilled water return. So I'm going to draw one here. And there you go. All right. So the reason why my pipe here shows it's a single line, it's because of the detail level here. All right. So you can click the detail level. Just make it fine. If you want to make it double line, just like that. Okay. And then you may want to change also the uh, visual style to shade it if you want. Okay. There you go. But I'll just want a uh, hidden line here and then turn off the thin line so I can see the thickness. All right. So let's say I'm going to create another type of pipe here. So I'm going to create this time chilled water supply pipe. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to right click the hydronic, uh, duplicate that, just rename. So basically, same procedure as you create your dock system. Okay, so this is my chilled water supply. There you go. And then let's try that. So let's create a pipe. Before you draw that, change the system type to properly uh, do the modeling. So always do that one. Oops. So I think I'll just change the color here. So right click, uh, type properties, graphic overrides, uh, color. Let's say something violet. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. Okay, so that's it. So that's how you create your uh, duct system and piping system type. Okay, so now in case you want to make it a solid color, so what you can do is you can go to the filter Okay, so you can edit the filter. Let's check first the object styles. Okay, just open your visual uh, visibility graphic overrides. And before I check the filter, so I'll just go ahead and check the object styles here. And then I'll select here the pipe. Let's check the pipe here. Pipes. Okay, no, no option, no option. Okay, no pipe system here. All right, so no pipe system. I'm going to go and cancel this one. Oops. And then I'll just go to the filter. Okay. So let's say, for example, you want to make your uh, supply 
uh, your supply solid color. Okay? Or let's say, for example, you want your uh, return solid color. What system is this? So this one is return air. So how do you make your uh, return air solid color? Okay? So to do that, so what you can do is you can create a filter, okay? You can go to the filter, and then you can add, and there you go. So you already have a filter here, okay? So you can select return, and then okay. If we're going to check what is the properties of this filter, you can go to the edit new, and then you can see your mechanical return here. The category that is selected here is all the duct. Okay, and the duct, only the duct here. Okay, and this is the rule. All system classification that contains return, all ducts, duct accessory, duct fittings, duct insulations, lining, that contains return. Okay, so that will going to be your mechanical return filter. So, if I'm going to add that, so where's my return? So I select return. Okay. So check the visibility. So let's say for the line, I don't want that to be that color. I just want that to be black. But I want the pattern here. Let's me select this one. I want the pattern to be solid color. Okay. So let's select that one. I select this. Same with the background color. Solid fill. There you go. Pattern, solid fill, color, magenta. Okay, solid fill, solid fill. Okay, and then, okay. There you go. So if you select this one, that's the rule. Any dock that contains return air as system classification, the property of that filter will be applied to that particular dock. So as you can see, it's now solid. Okay, so same with your supply. So if you want your supply to be solid color, you just add that filter. Supply. Okay. And then I'm going to make the line here black. And then for the pattern, so I'll both make it solid. Blue. Solid for the background. Blue for the background. Pattern solid okay there you go right okay so hopefully you learned something from this video guys if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you guys as soon as i can thank you for watching guys have a nice day